Hello you mad mugs and welcome to another episode of Hayden Plays Cuphead. How are you this week? It's been a long one. Hopefully this is another long episode. I had a great time last week with what we did, so let's get straight into another boss. The Root Pack, Botanic Panic. Big angry potato, that just plays right into my Irish heritage, doesn't it? As he spits some worms at us. How, what, what's that saying from the Lord of the Rings when Sam is trying to teach Gollum about ships? He's like, boil him, mash him, stick him in a stew, make some big, lovely, golden ships. That's what I'm going to do to this guy. This, mm, what's a good insult for a potato? This pothead? That's not really an insult, is it? Well, it depends. Depends on where you stand on 420, man. God, that's... I'm in my late 20s, mid to late 20s. I should probably not be talking like that. Where's the maturity? And what do we have here? A crying onion. Killed by the tears. I, I do have a soft spot for big babies crying. I always give in. That's actually quite funny, isn't it? Why is it trying to play into stereotypes related with the food? I suppose people think Irish people are quite angry, especially when we've had a bit of a gaggle in us, don't they? A few pints of Guinness, lad. The black stuff. Then we see red. We drink the black to see the red. The crying onion, yeah, I suppose. I suppose as well that we're actually... We're not cutting it, but we're shooting it. Which is making it cry rather than us cry. So much lore. Such deep, deep lore. Oh, does that say Acme? Like Acme from the... Looney, is it Looney Tunes with the Roadrunners? Yeah, it is Looney Tunes. Uh, it's where Coyote gets all his um, equipment, his inventory to try and use to catch the Roadrunner in his various schemes. Oh, I could have parried that tear. Parrying? Why? Imagine that cr if your tears were like pink and red. Like, I he, is he crying blood? It's kind of messed up. Oh, big carrot. Good, that's a good 20 inch carrot there. Orange though. It's a sign of Gandis, isn't it? Oh, is it? Scurvy, not Gandis. Is Gandis even a thing or am I just making up words? Is he psychic? A psychic carrot? All that vitamin A. I suppose, yeah, carrots. Oh, that, that's clever as well. Eating carrots makes your eyesight better. A giant carrot has a third eye from... <laughs> I don't know. Absorbing all his own vitamins. Pretty easy. Haha. <laughs> you couldn't see that future, could you? Doctor Strange. Surely that's... Oh, I probably won't get the A, will I? Mm, gold and everything. A plus. Come on. Yes. Ooh, that's a perfect score. Golly. Good golly gosh, you guys. It's a perfect score. The root pack soul contract is ours. Another one to hand into the devil himself. Oh, we can get to the angry coin. Let's see what he is at. Hrumph! I'll be a monkey's uncle if I'm putting my moolie in the bank. For all I know, the devil probably controls the place too. They'll never get a hold of the gold if I spread it all around. Just like my seed. And then some Joe happens to find a coin or two. Good for him! That's what I say. Hrumph! I hope no one finds what I spread around. Incriminating. No, I, I spread love, joy, and positivity, and ideas. I spread ideas, that's it. I won't have anything else said against me. You can't prove anything, especially with this, what is it? Is there like a Ted Bundy documentary out at the moment that everyone's gone on about on Netflix? Yeah. Let's not compare myself to Ted Bundy. Oh, speaking of apples, um, that just seeing the apple guy there kind of reminded me. I had my like first apple in years today. Damn good food. Oh, I'm gonna have to study. Airplane Blueprint, another tutorial. Nah. Let's see what we can do first. Level, maybe? Yeah. Okay, before... Yeah, let's do this. Tree top trouble. Apples grow on trees. That's that tying that together, isn't it? <laughs> but yeah, from a fat kid that least favorite part of his lunchbox was always apples, they are a top tier food. I, I should have put down the blackjacks and fruit salads. Fruit salads being the sweets, not actual fruit salads. Not a hope in hell would I have eaten an actual fruit salad. 
That woody woodpecker. Ugh. Did you know that? Ugh, God damn it. That I'm not sure who voiced him in the original cartoons, but I have memories of watching a I won't say contemporary, but at least one from when I was a kid, maybe like mid 2000 version of Woody Woodpecker that was voiced by B Billy West. And that's not the exciting part of this about the incredible voice cast that was on such an obscure TV show. But there was like, I think like a sparrow or hawk antagonist that he used to go up against regularly who was voiced by Mark Hamill doing an impression quite similar to his Joker. But then again, when Hamill does any voice, it's always quite similar to his Joker, particularly if it's a villain. That's not, I didn't mean that to be a bit of, that's it was a bit of a not nicer, un uncomplimentary comment. I'm sorry, Mr. Hamill, if you're watching this, I am a big fan. Luke deserved better. The Three Stooges, is it? That, that's quite funny. Oh, do they all have three faces or did I just see that there? Oh, damn. Particularly with how us Irish folk say three. Three and three. We don't pronounce the H's right. So it's quite a pun on that, isn't it? Let's see how many faces this one has. Yeah. The three stooges. Which one's the last one, Mo? Oh, I'm quite... I, that's, that's actually a really clever pun. Well done, Cuphead. You're impressing me. Puntastic. Sorry, Larry. One of my least favorite bosses in any games ever were actually the three stooges in Final Fantasy f f six. I think they were in that when you had to go to Cyan's castle and they were like a nightmare. Kind of, they, they were like haunting the castle where all his family had died. Spoiler alert for Final Fantasy VI, but the game is about 20 odd years old. If you haven't played it yet, sorry. Um, yeah, it was just a really tough boss because you'd kill one and they'd keep her fight. <laughs> I'm guessing that was meant to be a little mini boss. <laughs> Glitch Master Hayden. Oh yeah. That was much quicker than I thought. I did dreadful though. Ugh, this is what a C. And B. I'm underestimating myself quite a bit with the scores. Eight coins. We should probably stock up. Oh, what's this? It's like a little church. Let's go in. The mausoleum. I just have the Manic Street Preacher song Mausoleum playing in my head now. I'm not going to try and sing it. That, that, that little... was a bit more Michael Jackson than Manic Street Preacher. Just ignore me. Ooh, There's something about the aesthetic of this that really reminds me of the Mickey Mouse game on the PS1. Was it like Mickey's Grand Adventure or something? It's the music in the background. That's actually a game that's quite similar to this in that it's kind of going through a lot of old, early 1900s animations through the means of a video game. It's brilliant. It starts off with Steamboat Willie in black and white and it eventually uh, like fades to color. Oh, it's just, a, it's a great game. You should, obviously don't stop watching this, but once you've finished watching this, you should go look up a Let's Play of, I think it's Mickey's Great Adventure, Mickey's Wild Adventure. It's on the PS1. It's a great game. That was easy enough. What do we have? What's the prize? Gosh! I don't know. Why am I doing that voice for everything? Where are my manners? I didn't even introduce myself. I'm known as the legendary chalice. Pleased to meet you. I was searching for magic and got trapped by those ghosts. Magic? Speaking of magic, please accept this gift. It should help. At best. There are other mausoleums around in Gwilla Isle. I just wonder. Is there more magic in them? Probably. If there's more of these, there's probably going to be more magic in them. Come on, hun! Get on your game! That, who was I trying to be there? Dear me, you mustn't forget that you have to equip. Yep, okay. Like most things, I have to equip it in my menu. Thanks. That's really sweet of you for caring. Hello, fishy. So I hear you fellas gave some of those ghosts what for. Glad someone finally sorted them out. Might make fishing even better here. Then again, might not. Cannibalism! That's messed up. She looks so sweet and innocent with her little bow. She's trying to catch... Ugh. You psycho! Psy... No, no pun there for fish. You... Poisson... Nah, I'm gonna stop. 
just, I'm not good at puns, I'll let that to Laura. You should watch her first time Laura plays Dark Souls for my girlfriend's Let's Plays. With me being an idiot in the background, as you can probably tell, I am a moron. Okay, let's read through this blueprint. Shoot, special, parry, shrink. The buttons mean nothing to me, X-B-A-Y, just all this Xbox gibberish. It's X square circle. Sugar, I've forgotten the buttons. <laughs> X square circle triangle. God, what? A, and I meant to be a Sony pony. Tretton and Zeppelin, Hildeberg, simple, regular, simple, regular. What are we gonna go for? Regular, obviously, because we aren't fools. Let's do this. Let's do this. So Olive has been transformed into a blimp. I wonder if she's going to like contort those arms around the place. She's quite wavy like Olive, isn't she? Oh, what is that? That looks like it could hurt me. Bull? Oh, was that thing a, like... Uh, mm, Constellation-y kind of star sign? I wonder if it adds up to being a Toro. That's pretty cool. But why, just why would she have star signs just because she's a blimp lady? Yeah, she's got the wavy arms like Olive. Do you think Popeye was really into the contortionist stuff? Freak on a leash. No. Fitting, isn't it? I'm a blimp, you're a wimp. I'm not a wimp. I got fairly far for my first try. Don't be mean. Inhale and all that. All that air. <laughs> oh, the background's pretty... I shouldn't be looking at the background. I should be trying to do this. Okay, what comes to that doesn't look like a bull anyway. Hmm, maybe I was wrong. But they're definitely stars. Or did it? Was there like horns in the ring at the end? I don't know. Come on. He really telegraphs those attacks. It's not too bad. Boom! I said boom! Mm. Get out the way, I said. Boom, boom. Mm. Get out the way. That's a new one. That's different to the bull. <sighs> Ooh, what's that? The centaur. The centaur Sagittarius? I don't really know much about star signs or what they kind of indicate with people's personalities. Our Sagittarius is just really annoying and like archery. Twister. A great 90s movie. Slightly. Oh, we almost got her into her last stage there. Go me. Two people holding hands. I'm calling Gemini. Sister, sister. Tia and Tamara. Don't know. Of all the twins I could have referenced, I don't know why I went to an old Nickelodeon show. <laughs> Come on. We've got plenty of health. We can absolutely annihilate her. Keenan and Keller aren't twins. I was about to shout Keenan and Keller in reference to my Nickelodeon thing. Someone give me twins! Why am I blanking? Mary Kate and Ashley! So much. So little time, so much to do. Even if I had that little of time, I wouldn't be making Let's Plays now, would I? I clearly have too much time on my hands. Boom! I'm not going to survive this. At one health. She's not even at the end. Here we go. Here we go. She has a headache. That's always her excuse. What is with me in these sort of... Jo okay, she's just turned into the moon. I suppose that makes sense now for the uh, star signs. Uh, a little flying saucer there as well. Weird. You lost a soon and I was only half moon. Full moon, half moon, total eclipse. I'm going to totally eclipse you like a Jaffa cake. Some of the best advertising there ever was as a child. You couldn't eat a Jaffa cake and not to do that whole little ritual. Yeah, go on, laugh. You're mad. Like a cuckoo clock, isn't it? Because she's absolutely bonkers. How do you dodge the rays? Yes! I'm sorry. You shouldn't obviously ever do that 
to a lady, but it's video game. Come on, come on. Give me a good oh, HP bonus is bad, isn't it? Probably an A though. A minus. Okay, I oversold myself for a change. And another pathway opens for us, and the sole contract of Hildeberg has been received. That's my commentator voice. Oh, yeah. Hire me on Sky Sports, please. Oh, I eat the football. Oh, cricket. Oh, score goal. Yeah, I should shut up now and get ready to go. Okay, thanks for joining me again this week, guys. I've had an absolutely great time. I will see you next Monday at the same time for another episode of Hayden Plays Cuphead. So long. Farewell. It's been so much fun. High energy. Goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye!